Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be putting together the output shaft with the clutch baskets on this uh, MF50A. So what we're going to start with, we've got our bearing and our shaft and we're going to set on the pressure plate. We've got a thrust bearing on here already. We've got one inside here. Now I tried to do a video of putting a clutch basket back together, but it was a little difficult with my hand being the way it is. Matter of fact, I should have a glove on because it's going to start to hurt. And then, all right, so we're going to put on this, the clutch hub. Now the clutch hubs are different part numbers. You'll know right away if you put the wrong one in the reverse clutch basket, it's not going to go on. Be careful as you're putting it down. Make sure you don't damage any of the steel sealing rings for the clutch baskets. There you go. So we've got a steel goes on next. That we've I've already got a friction disc on there. Steel, the rounded edge facing down. Got another friction. There are 12 in total. Put some transmission fluid or high trans on them. Get them good and wet. It's not a good practice to start this up when everything's dry. Otherwise you're just gonna wind up with trouble. You don't want that after having put all this together new. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Now we're gonna put our circlip on again. Be careful not to damage anything on your way down. Okay. Let's seat it into place. So, all right, now. put this on again it's a heavy piece don't just drop it on just massage it until it goes over those steel ceiling rings if you come to any resistance and it doesn't want to move you don't want to tap it you don't want to do anything like that you're going to damage something if you do that so you just turn it round and around it'll find its place in the steels steels grab this basket frictions grab the inner clutch hub and as you turn it it's going to go down and then it'll make its way don't worry you could have just set the clutch pack <clears throat> together in this but you wind up with the same problem Yeah, it's a pain. It's even more of a pain trying to do it with one hand. Not having very good grip to be able to hold it together. But it comes eventually. It just takes patience. And in we go. So that's it. Now, flip it over. Okay. 
put in your retainer. And these are easy to get out, just as easy to get in. Okay, so that's in and it's seated correctly too. And it pays to check. <clears throat> now everything was fairly clean when I began, so I know there's nothing obstructing it. Okay, so we've got this clutch hub, the basket and discs all put together. Now, one thing that I'll mention again, Guys, for screwing up there. The check ball. Don't forget it. When you put this back together, you have to make sure that's in there. All right? You know what's going to happen if you don't. You're going to lose all your fluid pressure, and you've just wasted all that work. So now comes the second. This is the forward hub, the forward uh, basket, rather. Same way. Okay, so here we are. Get this sir clip. Stupid bulky gloves. Hard to work on. Anyway. Get this in place. Now We're in place here. That's our circlip in. Now we're ready for our second clutch hub. Just slide that into place. Okay. So now we're back to the discs. All right. So we begin with our steel. Got a dozen. Last but not least, thrust washer. Okay, so at this point, we're actually ready to put the, uh, the front of the input shaft on. And that's this guy. Okay, so like I said before, I haven't installed the new ceiling rings on this yet, but it's a fairly straightforward matter. I've got the new ones that I need. Unfortunately, I don't have these two. So really what I'm doing now, I'm just going to have to pop this input shaft off the baskets and uh, replace these seals. Can't, uh, can't get them right now. But when you have the seals on, you have to put this into place very gently. This is actually a fairly new piece. Uh, I discovered that the forward basket and this piece were heavily worn, so I replaced them both with used components that are in excellent shape. And essentially, it just pops in there. So it's a little harder when you get the steel ceiling rings in. So you bring it up a little bit on both sides.
and then you put in your last retaining ring. And you're in like Flynn. And that's it. You're done, and this, aside from your shims, which are over there, this is ready to install. So, like I said, I gotta mark this. I have to mark it until I get the steel ceiling rings in. Then I will take it apart and I'll replace the steel ceiling rings in the top part of this shaft, and then replace these steel rings I still, I have these, I actually have these now, but I just haven't installed them, haven't had time. So I'm gonna mark this up and make sure that uh, we don't just accidentally pop it into a tractor and wind up wasting all our time. So thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a great day and I hope this has helped you somehow.